In this video, our Father in the Lord, Apostle Joshua Sermon, talks about how that God can clothe a man with glory and honor. Despite the fact that there are so many evil clothes that the devil is putting on many people, he reiterated that God can still put a cloth of honor and glory on his people. So, as you listen, may you be blessed. There is something called the grave clothes. I hope you know that. Let me show you. John 11, 44. 43 and 44. Let's look at it. John chapter 11. This was Lazarus. When Jesus called Lazarus to come forth out of the grave, the Bible says when he had thus spoken, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Look at verse 44. The Bible says, and he that was dead came forth. Read the remaining part with me. Bound hand and foot with grave clothes. Hold on. It would have just said with clothes. There are clothes that belong to the grave. There are clothes that belong to failure. Situations have their garments that you can wear upon you. You can dress in a way that you don't have to tell me you're a military man. I know you're a military man. You can dress in a way that I know you are a lawyer. You can dress in a way that I know you are an engineer. You can dress in a way. Every profession has clothes. The Bible says even the grave has clothes. Grave clothes. Failure has garments. Do you not believe this? That he can give them beauty for ashes. Is that true? The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That they might be called the oaks or the trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. The assignment of wisdom is to come to you. Like Haggai, the keeper of the king's virgins in the book of Esther. And wisdom will begin to dress you. You came from a background with grave clothes, failure clothes, delay clothes. That means... I don't need to ask what your situation is. I just need to look at what you are wearing. You can wear honor like a garment. You can wear shame like a garment. You can wear delay like a garment. You can wear poverty like a garment. Believe me, I'm not just motivating you. It is true. I can look at your life and I see a display of the honor, the beauty, the order of God. And I can look at your life and I see that everything there is just ashes. You are wearing certain clothes. Let me tell you the assignment of wisdom. When the anointing of the spirit comes, it took power to bring Lazarus out of the grave. But he told the man, he said, walk to him, lose him, give us 44. The Bible says, Jesus said to them, my power has been displayed now. In his coming out of the grave but if you leave him that way he is out of the grave but he's still in trouble because his hands and his feet were tied and a garment was on him he said lose him walk to him use order and principles to walk to him lose him and let him go the power of God can bring you healing the power of God can bring you deliverance but it takes the wisdom of God to lose you from that shackle of shame, financial shame, whatever. There is something you must know. Leviticus chapter 9 and verse 6. Please give it to us. You want to see the manifestation of the power and the glory of God. Read with me, Koinonia. Ready? One to read. And Moses said, uh -huh, This is the thing which the Lord commanded that ye should do. And the glory of the Lord shall appear unto you there is what you must know there is what you must do and then you will see the glory of god financially you will see the glory of god in every area of your life when a rich man came to jesus he asked a question he said good master what must i do that's a responsible man speaking i know that I will, it, something will be required of me and Jesus told him, no, no, no. When it has to do with the matters of salvation, it's not just about doing things. Good master, what is my own commitment? What do I need to learn? What do I need to know? What do I need to do to be saved? 
while we are praying you must pray and cry to the god of heaven to show you what you need to do for some of you while the word of god is coming with fire the spirit of god will speak to you i told you last year go and register that company you've been sitting in fear your destiny helper has been waiting in prophecy but the courage to go and register the company now he tells you what to do and remember like mary whatsoever he say to do do it you know the risk of filling six pots with water and then fetching it the power of god will turn the water to wine but there are principles you need to fill the pots put order put everything and then now go and start serving when christ is revealed in the midst of his people he is revealed as the power of god the power to break yokes the power to change conditions is that true but he's also revealed as the wisdom of God. I can tell you this. The problem is usually not with the power of God. The problem is that most people do not know how to access the wisdom of God and put it to use. Doth not wisdom cry. When wisdom cries towards your direction tonight, don't ignore it. Just in search for power. If the anointing comes to you as wisdom, it is still God visiting you. If the anointing comes to you as power, it is still God visiting you. You must open up your spirit. Don't choose the power of God and ignore the wisdom of God. And don't choose the wisdom of God and ignore the power of God. Christ revealed among them that are called. He comes as the power of God and he comes as the wisdom of God. When you read the next chapter, it tells you about the hidden wisdom of God that was reserved for our glory. The hidden wisdom. Then it says the natural man does not understand the things of the spirit. Why? Because they are spiritually discerned. The scriptures before verse 24 tells us that God has decided to use foolish things. Foolish things there mean weak things. Because you see, when you are accessing the wisdom of God, it will come with instructions and principles that don't make sense. For instance, go around Jericho seven times and shout. It is the foolishness of the ways of God. For instance, there is he that scattereth and increaseth. It is the wisdom of God. This is the danger of over dependence on principles and philosophies of men because sometimes when god comes to you it will be a simple principle there are times here you tell you hear me tell you shout you know jesus it does not make sense you think on my own i would want to make intelligent people to just shout like that but that is what he gives there are times i can tell you be quiet instrumentalist you be quiet just do your thing it is the wisdom of god there is a relationship between the wisdom of god and the power of god it is christ that brings it for some of you you have been chasing the power alone and god is telling you you are doing well but in addition to that you must access the wisdom of god you need order and beauty and glory in your life it is important for you to understand that the wisdom of god must be at work in you by me kings reign and princes rule with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches and righteousness god revealed this to me and so i know that there are many people here you came here for miracle service to visit you do you know i found out that most people's problems out of every three people two is financial is their financial issues are we together either some kind of maybe financial constraint financial limitations and we, we don't shy away from these things any responsible ministry must be responsive to the realities of the times you can see what is happening around our nation and generally around the globe it is a risk to not have the wisdom of god that provides for financial stability and don't you let anyone tell you it is not necessary there are people today who only god knows how many people found their way to this place there are people probably you you've heard people testify here and they can tell you i gave everything i didn't have anything you can imagine that kind of risk imagine a father with his wife and three or four or five children completely clueless as to where the next meal will come from and yet that man gave his life to christ 
no as that anointing comes upon you tonight don't just expect it's not just about witches and wizards christ the wisdom of god coming to you when the wisdom of god comes to you it speaks it tells you what to do the bible says the labor of the foolish weary yet every one of them why because they do not know the road to the city just because you are confused does not mean the road has been closed the road is there but until you find out christ has come tonight ladies and gentlemen please hear me he has come as a supernatural bailout system it's up to you to open up your heart and say lord i believe thank you for watching this video to the end please if you have not subscribed to this channel please subscribe turn on the post notification bell so that each time we release any content at all you will be notified god bless you see you in our next video